Welcome to my channel, everybody. I am continuing my series on spices and herbs today. On this video, we'll be talking about three more spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. The discussion will cover the use of these spices, the dishes they are found in, medicinal uses and properties, and finally, what type of taste they will have on your dishes. As always, my disclaimer is I'm not a physician, medical practitioner, nor am I giving you adv medical advice. I'm only relaying information that I have found on websites like WebMD, Healthline, and others. So let's start off with cinnamon. Now, as you can see here, I have two different types. I have whole cinnamon sticks and Ceylon cinnamon. And this is how they harvest the um, cinnamon off of the trees. Now this is actually bark that they have stripped off because that's what cinnamon is. It comes up from the bark of these trees. And as you can see, this is what a close-up of the cinnamon stick looks like and the ground form of cinnamon. So cinnamon is widely used in spice, both sweet and savory dishes. There are approximately four types of cinnamon. I know you're thinking, cinnamon is cinnamon, right? Understand that each type of cinnamon will bring its own flavor to any dish that you prepare. Just like there are different types of apples, cinnamon has different flavors. Now the types of cinnamon that there are is Ceylon cinnamon, Corgini cinnamon, Saigon cinnamon, and Royal cinnamon. Now, Ceylon cinnamon is often called true cinnamon. Cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, or soft cinnamon. This variety is native to Sri Lanka and northern India, but is widely grown in Mexico and East Africa. It is sometimes called soft cinnamon because of its soft texture. If you hear the term Mexican cinnamon, this is often refers to a more herbal and savory, not super sweet cinnamon. Now the other three varieties are cassia cinnamons. Cajordi cinnamon is generally milder. It is very common in America. It accounts for close to 70% of the North American cinnamon imports. Um, it's described as like a friendly cinnamon that works with everything. Now the next cinnamon would be Saigon cinnamon. It is often found in supermarket shelves in Saig as Saigon cinnamon. It originates in Southeast Asia. It's pretty sweet, not super spicy. Most of what is imported as Saigon cinnamon is actually um, Cinnamonium cassia found in Vietnam. Saigon cinnamon is a misnomer because it is actually a trading point. There's no actual cinnamon grown near Saigon. Now the next one is royal cinnamon. This is harder to find in grocery stores, but spice privateurs often sell it. And it's mostly grown in central Vietnam. Now it's super sweet, super spicy. Uh, cinnamon is like amped up to like 10 on the scale of 1 to 10 being not so, one being not so spicy and the other one being 10. The cinnamon provider is norm, was mostly to the royal court, hence the name royal cinnamon is how the type of cinnamon got its name. It comes from the mountains of Quang Nam in central Vietnam. This area is historically famous for spicy, sweet cinnamon. And you say, well, if they're both from the same place, why are they named differently? My answer, they're from the same area. It comes from the mountains of Quay Nam in central Vietnam. This is because of bur burlap and barrel wanted to differentiate them because Saigon was the trading point for the spice back in the day. And if you put royal on part of it, you can get a higher price, meaning it's 
considered more expensive and, and, you know, goes to royalty, you know, that kind of thing. For the most part, they're basically the same in taste, but Saigon cinnamon usually has a much stronger flavor. So you don't use the stronger flavor. I prefer the more healthier of the four, which is Cylon cinnamon. Cylon cinnamon is full of antioxidants, which helps your body handle free radicals and lowers your risk of health conditions like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. However, if you intend to consume large amounts of this spice or take it as a supplement, cassia can be harmful because of the cumarin content. And at the end of the day, Cylon is a much better quality and much safer in its quantity of cumarin is lower. Uses for cinnamon that come to you in mind is cookies, pastry, pies, and apple sauce. Some species of cinnamon work better than others in dishes like snickerdoodles and cinnamon rolls. Others are ideal for savory dishes like ap uh, maple cinnamon ham or slow cooker pulled pork. But all in all, you have to choose what type of cinnamon you want in your dishes. Other dishes would be apple and cinnamon pork chops, Moroccan chicken, slow cooker jerk ribs, and my favorite, sweet potato and crab soup. This is a versatile spice and can be used in many dishes. Now the next spice that I'm going to discuss is ginger. Now as you can see I have the ground ginger and unfortunately I don't have a nub of um, whole ginger. But you can get your idea as to what it looks like from this picture that I have printed out. And here is a picture of the ground cinnamon. Now, many uses for ginger in the kitchen varieties on the, for varies on the type of dish that you're making. Some ways the ginger, either whole or in powder, are Whole unpeeled ginger is added to water and cooking fluids to flavor soups and rice. And then they remove it from the, the uh, broth. Uh, pickled ginger is used as a condiment in Japanese and Indian cuisine. Minced ginger flavors fried rice in stir fries, marinades, and glazes for meats and vinaigrettes. Now in India and Chinese are believed to have produced ginger as a tonic root for over 5,000 years to treat many ailments and this plant is now cultivated throughout the humid tropics with India being the largest producer. Ginger is used as flavoring agent long before history formally was recorded Ginger is a common spice used worldwide, whether for meals or as in folk medicine. Ginger can be used in a variety of foods such as vegetables, candy, soda, pickles, alcoholic beverages. Ground ginger is flavoring, good flavoring for salad dressings also, baked sweets, soups, curries, meats and dress desserts such as gingerbread snaps or gingerbread itself. Ginger juice is another form for cooking and baking that is an easy method to add ginger to foods. Ginger lends to a zingy to sweet and savory dishes and drinks across a wide range of cuisines. Whether powdered or fresh, some savory dishes would include, but not limited to, carrot and ginger soup, rice with ginger, broccoli ginger stir fry, ginger beef, just to name a few. Now as far as medicinal uses and indications, today health professors may, professionals, excuse me, may recommend ginger to help prevent or treat nausea and vomiting from notion sickness, pregnancy, and cancer chemotherapy. It is also used to treat mild stomach upset 
and reduce pain of osteoarthritis, excuse me. And in many times it can be used in heart disease. Now I have Indian friends who told tell me to steep a ginger root in water and drink the tea for headaches. They use it a lot for headaches, like and for you know stomach upset as I stated before. It's a very good root, but I I noticed that once you steep it too much, it the uh, tea becomes very savory and um, almost like really spicy. Um, so I would suggest that if you use ginger and put it into a tea, uh, make it on the mild to weak side because a lot goes a long way with this particular spice when it becomes fresh and is uh, seeped into uh, water. And finally, we are talking about nutmeg. Now here's, I have a couple examples. One is whole nutmeg and the other one is ground nutmeg. And here's a close-up of nutmeg. Now this is a seed and what you see here is a nutmeg seed. And that's what nutmeg looks like when it's ground. Of course everybody knows that. If anybody bakes any, any pumpkin pies or sweet potato pies, you know about ground nutmeg. Now it comes in seed and ground spice. It is dark leafed evergreen tree cultivated two spices derived from its fruit which is this nutmeg like this which is the whole seed and mace and mace is derived from the outer covering of the nutmeg itself so it's just the 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 bark of the nut itself. Now there are very several different kind of species to this but they're basically the same uh, in taste and in uh, texture. Now the spice nutmeg is a distinctive distinctive pungent fragrance and a warm slightly sweet taste and is a flavor of many kinds of baked goods confections puddings you can even put it in potatoes meats sausages sauces uh, vegetables and uh, beverages such as nutmeg uh, nutmeg goes very well with eggnog and a lot of times nut Eggnog is made with nutmeg already in it, but you can also add a little bit more, which I do every time I get nut, uh, eggnog. So if you can use it when you're making hearty soups or stews, nutmeg is great for baking as it is for cooking, and spice works well with vegetables, such as many types of squash, cauliflower, butternut squash soup, Swiss chard, and leek au gratin just to name a few. Now medicinally, nutmeg is a rich source of antioxidants which help protect against the signs of aging and serious medical conditions such as cancer, heart disease, and liver disease. Nutmeg also may provide other health benefits such as for dental. Nutmeg oil is used in several dental products. The spice has antibacterial properties that have been proven to be particularly good against oral pathogens and disease and bad breath. Nutmeg is a rich in fiber which helps keep the digestive system healthy and prevent blood sugars from spiking. Now nutmeg itself actually contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, manganese, magnesium, copper, phosphorus, zinc and iron and the calories that you get from it are like minimal they're about like 12 calories for one gram and one gram of fat it's it's a very good spice now let's talk about the second spice that you get from the seed of the nutmeg it is called mace 
Mace comes from the outer covering of the nutmeg seed. Mace is spicier, more intense flavor than nutmeg. In fact, mace is quite similar to black pepper. And yes, the word mace comes from that spray that you get from the store to help protect yourself, mace. Uh, that's what they put in it, just like pepper spray has pepper in it. Um, similar kind of way of protecting yourself against, you know, unruly people. Mace also adds a creative complexity to meaty braises and stews. Mace is perfect when nutmeg is too heavy of a flavor. Um, the dish applications for the spice are pretty much the same as nutmeg. So, as I stated, all of these spices are used from, first and foremost and mostly known for baking, but it can be used with meats, rices, soups, stews, and many other dishes. So it's not just limited to bakery items. Well, the next video in spices and herbs, the combination will be combinations like curry and chili powder. So until next time, have a great day and bye everyone.